second collection of the 2022 maple syrup season. Now, I started back in 2019 making maple syrup. I had uh, <laughs> uh, broken my right ankle taking the garbage out, slipped on some ice on the deck, and that's all it took. <clears throat> so while I was down and had to have surgery, I was getting on YouTube and looked up how to make maple syrup. And that's where it started. Uh, my grandparents on my dad's side used to make maple syrup. And uh, years and years ago. And uh, now I'm picking it up. My dad had given me some spiles. Oh, I think there was probably 25 to 40 of them in there in, that he gave me. I ended up buying some uh, plastic spiles and making drop lines uh, to do some uh, two taps, putting a spile in and then having the tube run into it. If you look over there where the arrow is, there's some gear in the background there. I didn't even notice it, neither did Mrs. Jack. But I just thought we'd point that out. Anyway, <clears throat> we started... I started by making my own spiles out of Schumach. Used uh, pop bottles, two liter pop bottles, uh, juice bottles, milk cartons, gallon milk jugs uh, to collect the sap. And I think at the time I only had maybe 10, 10 15 trees. Uh, and it all started from there. And as uh, things progressed, I ended up the following year uh, getting some buckets for free from our local bakery, uh, privately owned. Uh, saved me like 24, I think 24, 25 buckets, five gallon buckets that had pastry goods in them, sweet stuff. That way I didn't have to wash them out as much as if you had one that had pickles in it or uh, relish or anything like that. But here on our homestead, we, tape, we tap sugar maples. Now that's a red maple I'm standing behind there. Um, we have red maples mainly in Pennsylvania. Uh, the <coughs> sugar maple used to be the predominant maple uh, years and years ago. But due to climate change and, and stuff like that, uh, they diminished. Uh, they're, they're, they're there. And uh, when you find them, it's like finding the gold, I guess. But uh, I did, like I said, started out with 24 buckets. Now I'm doing about 50 to 52 buckets. I got trees tapped on our property, which is about 10. 10 acres and then my neighbors have seven beautiful big three and a half foot plus uh, in circumference uh, sugar maples in there on their property that they let me tap. Uh, this year the sugar maple uh, percentage of sugar in our sap was anywhere from two to two and a half percent which is pretty good for having a mixture of reds and, and sugars. Um, we've already done one boil. Uh, I ended up getting, I think, 60 gallons of sap with a mixture of the sugar maples and the red maples. Uh, ended up with one gallon of syrup. Uh, that was about a week ago or so, maybe, yeah, about a week ago. And this is how, you know, this is how I started out. Um, future videos, I'm going to try to show you guys uh, how to tap a tree. I, again, I'm not an expert. Uh, I just watch stuff on YouTube. Try to help everybody out. Give you guys some ideas on how to get some inexpensive stuff. So that you don't have to spend millions of dollars <laughs> to just have a hobby sugar shack and sugar production so hope you guys like the video and we'll talk at you later
Waka. Good stuff. A little sweet, not a lot. Drive up and around, Get me yep. right over there. Okay. That's not for 
frozen. They're so excited. They miss this. It's been months. Sugar Shack. Lulu, no, Lulu, Lulu. <laughs> Go inside. Louie, no drink in the sack. This one's full. I didn't really strain this one, but I will as soon as I transfer it over into that, that tank. Because I use a paper strainer here. Right. And then I pump it up into here. This is uh, three quarters full right now. Careful, don't touch the bat. But I didn't give it because that's, that's all soot. Um, you guys can see it's an old milk strainer. Again, that I bought from uh, Watch him. a gentleman. Watch him. Drink that. A gentleman. Louie. A gentleman over on uh, Walker Road. Yes, you told um, us that. Yes, I thought, yeah. But anyway, yeah. So um, tomorrow, when I come out, I'll do a little video in, and uh, we'll load up the wood here for the for the uh, cooking, and then we will. Uh, I'll go over my system again for you and talk to you a little bit, and show you. Maybe I'll show you a video on how to tap a, a maple tree, and what you could need and stuff that how I got my stuff. But this is the sugar house. So is this your pan that has That's to go up here? That's the pan that will go on here, yep. This will come off. This is so when I move the pan over, I don't burn it. Right. And I put this in there, and it kind of helps hold the heat. What's that box in the corner? Uh, the box in the corner is filters and newspapers and my burner that I'm going to finish. From here on out, I'm going to do my syrup out here and not in the house. So, yes, we don't need you to burn down the house. Well, it's not that really. <laughs> Jeez, comedian's out of work down here. Uh, Hi, did you come to visit? So, my plan is right here where I got these pallets, I got firewood for the, for the syrup cooking. I'm going to get a couple more. I got a bunch of pallets, a couple more pallets here, and then I'm gonna put walls on it with pallets, like I did this, and then make a wood shack, a small wood shack, cover the wood so it stays dry. It's out of the weather mostly, and you all that good stuff. You can see the line right here, yep. where the sap is. See it from the side, too. There's What are we doing, ladies? Looking for bugs? Huh? Having a nice day? Are we looking for bugs? Are you finding bugs? Marsala and Nugget, thank you for your eggs. Mama got your eggs. 